Hello and welcome to Toy Geek Maniac. I'm Constance Miller. This is X-Men 97 Extravaganza Part 5, and this is the completion of my set of Wave 1 and 2, so let's get going. First off, we have the Executioner, and there's been a little bit of debate about how his name is pronounced. And I think even in the show, he said Executioner, but it says Executioner. I know, it's a subtle difference, but regardless, it is what it is. And I didn't really want this figure, to be honest. I didn't think it was necessary, but then seeing the consequences of his actions in the show, I was like, yeah, I've got to have him. So I'm going to open him up and we'll take a look. As I take a look at this figure, I'm going to be making some spoilers about this character and the show, X-Men 97. So if you haven't watched it and you don't want to know, turn away, but come back when you do. This figure has very, very limited motion. There's hardly, oh, there's a little bit of a look down, no look back. Lateral lift in the arms is pretty decent, considering all the costume restraints. There is a bicep turn. Multifunctional double jointed elbows. No wrist flex. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me pop this off. No, there is no wrist flex. no crunch forward. There's a little bit of crunch back. Turnable waist. Lateral lift in the leg is hindered by the costume. However, there is a thigh turn. A multifunctional double jointed knee. No boot turn. Flex in the foot. And a rocking side to side motion. Now we're going to get on to the accessories. He comes with a Sentinel Blaster, a Spear and a Staff, and the gun that he's uh, got powered up to depower mutants, namely Magneto, but instead it hits Storm. So now we're going to take a good look at execution.
Now we're gonna take a look at the Goblin Queen and wow. Wow. Um yeah. <laughs> Here we go. This has been one of the most wanted figures in all of Marvel Legends history and we're getting an animated series look at the Goblin Queen, also known as Madeline Pryor. A clone of Jean Grey. She gets an oh he look down. We're not gonna get a look back because of the hair. An amazing lateral lift in the arms. Bicep turn. Multifunctional double jointed elbows. Wrist flex. Not too much of a crunch forward. There is a crunch back with really no cabbage. That is nice. There is no waist turn, but the turn is in the torso. Pretty good lateral lift in the legs. Leg turn. Multifunctional double jointed knees. No boot turn. We're gonna get a great flex in the foot as well as a rocking side to side motion. So now let's take a look at her accessories. She has power-up accessories to show her telekinetic powers. And we get baby Nathan. This is epic. 